Vertical farming, a revolutionary concept that is challenging conventional agriculture and promising a sustainable pathway to bolster food security and reduce the environmental impacts, is rapidly gaining momentum worldwide. The evolution of vertical farming is primarily a response to accelerating population growth and urbanization, coupled with escalating concerns about food scarcity, land shortage, water crisis, and climate change. Emerging out of the wisdom of the past, the roots of vertical farming can be traced back to ancient civilizations such as the Hanging Gardens of Babylon and the terraced farming in Incas in Asia. Nevertheless, the term vertical farming was first coined in 1915 by American geologist Gilbert Ellis Bailey. The contemporary model of vertical farming that we see today, however, was proposed by Dr. Dixon Despaumier, a professor at Columbia University in 1999. Despaumier initially intended to place traditional greenhouses on roofs, a concept that later evolved into the idea of growing plants in skyscrapers named farm scrapers. The essence of vertical farming lays in the idea of stacking crops vertically, inside controlled environments. This farm everywhere approach provides a solution to the growing land deficit and escalating food requirements. Vertical farms, primarily using hydroponics and aeroponics, reduce water consumption by 70 to 95%, making them an attractive option for water-scarce regions. By bringing farms closer to consumers, vertical farming also slashes transport emissions, spoilage, and the need for preservatives, contributing to both eco-friendliness and food safety. Furthermore, by controlling environmental variables, vertical farmings can enhance crop productivity and year-round cultivation. Despite the merits, vertical farming also elicits critiques, primarily regarding energy usage and economic feasibility. Vertical farms are heavily dependent on artificial lighting and climate control systems, which leads to higher energy consumption compared to open field farms. This can inadvertently contribute to the carbon dioxide emissions unless powered by renewable energy. From a market viability perspective, the higher setup and operational cost can translate to expensive produce, restricting the accessibility of these farms mainly to urban affluent consumers. Advances in LED lighting, automation, and sensor technologies have made it possible to fine-tune growth conditions to maximize yield and nutrition content. Vertical farming also offers a fertile ground for the application of machine learning and data analytics for crop disease prediction, gene editing for yield optimization, and robotics for harvesting. This intersection of farming, technology, and data science is expanding the frontiers of what is possible in agriculture. From a global perspective, Asia, particularly Japan, China, and Singapore, is leading the vertical farming movement. In America, companies like AeroFarms, Plenty, and Bowery are pioneering the industry. Even big tech companies like Google and Amazon are making forays into vertical farming, signaling a more profound shift in the way we perceive food production. Vertical farming, with its promise to revolutionize farming practices and delivering fresh, organic, and local produce, is gaining widespread acceptance. However, the road to mainstream adoption is not without challenges. High energy costs, potential disease spread in closed environments, and limited crop diversity are some of the hurdles that the sector needs to overcome. Notwithstanding these challenges, vertical farming holds the enormous potential to redefine the agricultural landscape. While there is no silver bullet for the multifaceted problem of food security and sustainability, urban vertical farming can undoubtedly be a vital piece of the puzzle. It aims to merge ecological responsibility with technological ingenuity to create a more resilient and sustainable food system. As the technology matures and costs fall, vertical farming might not just be an alternative to traditional agriculture, it could be the future of it.